Oh, oh my god, we've finally made it. And what did we learn from this? Don't drink a bottle of rum before you do a massive hike. Previously on Delos, we begin our exploration of Ascension Island. Lisbeth meets a boy. I nailed it. I nailed it. I got it. I got first kiss. I got the first kiss on camera. And we celebrate Alex's birthday. Happy birthday, Alex! The best part of sailing is all the incredible people you cross paths with. The worst part of sailing is saying goodbye. But sailors must sail. And now it was time for Edward and his shipmates to continue their sail to Europe. Goodbye! Goodbye! What's up, Lizzie? Yes, Saying goodbye, huh? It's a good one. I know I'm just emotional, it's just silly. It's good, it's good to be but emotional. I had like the best day. Do you know what we did yesterday? What'd you do? We, uh, we went, it doesn't even sound real, we went down to the beach at 2. Yeah. And we were there till 11 o'clock. Yeah. Just talking for hours and then we bought a bottle of rum and cider and two packets of cigarettes Aww. and then we went to the top of the beach and we found this uh, like rocks curved round and there was like an old boat. So I was sitting in the little boats whilst we were drinking and smoking and, and talking and then we watched the sunset and we were just lying there and then we heard Ch -ch 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 -ch, and we turned around and there was all oh, these baby turtles. Oh mate! And then we were like, oh my god! Okay, so I'm on the beach and the turtles are sort of hatching and they've got these bastard birds trying to catch them. And we're gonna protect them. You can do it! You can do it! Come on, guys! Yeah. And they were like swooping down, so we were running around trying to scare the birds wow. away from the, tur the turtles. And then the turtles were going in the wrong direction and the birds were getting them, so we were like, Helping, helping the baby turtles into the water, and they were like, <laughs> I will help you. Turtles! Have there any more? We saved them. And then all the stars came out and then you were showing me all like the constellations and then we were like, we're gonna be stuck on the island I think. Maybe we should get a hotel or something. Yeah, nice. Yeah. <laughs> and then we went and we didn't know what time it was and we were knocking on the doors and everywhere was shut and yeah. we're like Fuck, we're gonna have to sleep on the ground somewhere. Didn't really care. I was walking around holding the hands and then we heard some music and we followed some music, it came to this like this little house. Yeah. So I knocked on the door and I was like, oh do you know if we could 
if there was anywhere open, he was like, yeah, you'll come inside. And we came inside and he fed us like a three course meal. Oh, sweet. And we had music playing and smoking. And then he gave us like this huge double bed. So we got to have a hot shower, double bed. <laughs> And then there you go, lizard we girl. had an awesome night and then we woke up this morning this guy had laid out like breakfast for us and cool. I was just like, I don't know how much my heart can take and it was just like the most romantic thing ever. Later that afternoon we decided to go in for a little barbecue at the beach. And we just happened to find this local shack that had pretty much everything we needed. So what's the plan? We're, we're getting more and more cruiser now. We went fishing yesterday in the dinghy, we went for a dive today, and now we found a beach with a little bry pit. And we're gonna um, bry up the fish that we caught yesterday. Lisa caught the fish yesterday. Thought of the fire, huh? Look at this place, it's perfect. There's wood and everything. Yeah, I think we're gonna bry up the fish we caught yesterday. You know how to cook these and stuff? This is what we usually do. We cut uh, some slits in them. And then we just do a little bit of lemon, salt, and pepper. Nice. And then we just cook it on both sides. That sounds pretty good. We only have broken up pallet wood, so we'll see how it tastes. But mm. it's gonna be right. Fish like this. Blackened. Yeah, well, burnt on the outside, but good on the inside. <laughs> no, that's like a popular thing at restaurants. Would you like your tacos blackened? Yeah, I don't even charge extra for that. Wow. What a good guy. It looks really good. It smells good. Headed for our truck today, Brady. Semi. Semi excited. It's gonna be a long one, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I think we're gonna walk on a road for like six hours. It's pretty far. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. It's gonna be a good, good walk. where we're going, two boats. All right, so it is a beautiful sunny morning. I've got on my sun hat. We are underway. We're going to, there's a mountain on the other side of this hill called Green Mountain. And apparently when Darwin showed up here, I don't know what year, but Charles Darwin came. Um, everything was completely barren. There was really no plants or trees or anything. And he started to plant things on the top of this hill that we're walking to. And it's actually turned in over time. Other people have planted trees and things. And over time it's turned into like its own tropical rainforest. So, we're gonna walk and try and find it. You forget your shoes. 
No, I've got them. I just don't want to wear them right now. I like to be in touch with the earth. Hello, sir. Very proud of my brother, he's come a long way. <laughs> it is quite a healthy donkey population. It's a very healthy donkey population They're on this island. Good. Breeding and everything. It's so awesome, I love donkeys. <laughs> They're so cute in a way. Yeah. Hi, donkey. They look cuddly. Bye, a donkey. Can we bring one back to Delos? One boat restored and re-erected by Royal Air Force personnel on behalf of AIHS with the kind permission of Group Captain F.J. Hamilton, MBIM, RAF Commander, BFAI, February 1986. Yeah. These are bowling trophies. Here. Yeah, is that what? Oh, that's and a dart. Darts. That's darts. It's all and like bar games. Darts, darts, bowling. What do you go say? What do you? What do you? What do you guys say we go find the other boats? <laughs> we made it to two boats. Two boats. Yay! <laughs> where's, the, nah. where's the boats? We're gonna go straight through the city and off the mountain. Uh huh. So it appears there's not a lot going on in two boats. I haven't seen one single person so far. So a uh, goat though, or a sheep? Yeah, goat. That's about it. Is this a store? Convenience store, clothes. Ooh, clothes. Shame. Shame. Uh -huh. How do we feel, Elizabeth? Sick. <laughs> Why is that? Because I had a mini party with the locals at Saints Bar and drank some bits. <laughs> so, okay. The rest of the guys are back there, and I'm going on a beer mission. Um, as you can see, I'm, I'm nearly there. Looking forward to it. I think I'm going to go rent a car as well. So I'm with my good friend, the St. Helenian. I just found out that the shop for all the beers is, is shut. So I've just come to, it's, yeah, it closed six on five minutes late. Um, so I bought a rum and some cigarettes. It is just a hell of a climb up these switchbacks. Check these out. The whole way. Whew, doing good, girls. Ah, so we've gotten pretty high up, and it's just totally changed from like volcanic deserty type stuff to just this lush green. There's a whole row of banana trees. Over 200 years ago, this island was a barren rock. All the vegetation you see here was brought in from Europe, South Africa and Argentina. The plan was to create a fully functioning but totally artificial ecosystem, a lush tropical cloud forest. The plants would capture more rain, reduce evaporation and create rich soil. Only the hardiest plants are still here today. And it's a wild mix of grass, shrubs and trees. Those uh, who are on the, the other boat from us, our neighbours, the French boat, who uh, we made good friends with, or at least I did. Good <laughs> friends! France bait, Port Elizabeth. <laughs> Basically, they did the same walk, and the two guys, um, Philippe and Jacques, um, they've both come, they both came here, so that's really cool to see. Yep. Yeah. Okay, we found the start of the trail. Nice! Yeah! From, so, from this point, it's only 90 more minutes. Nice. And then we're there. And it only took us like six hours to get here. So we're doing good. Now the hike begins. No, I'm just kidding. He said I it's, need to get a, it's I need about to get 20 a camera minutes. on Liz's face right now. <laughs> yeah, he said it's only 20 minutes, Liz. Oh, oh my god, we finally made it. And what did we learn from this? Don't drink a bottle of rum. 
before you do a massive hike. Wow, that is... It's like someone's lit a fire and it's a smoke, but it's the clouds. Yeah. I've never seen that. mountain all of a sudden there's like a forest of bamboo and this tropical tropical atmosphere like we're in the clouds this little wooden walkway so cool so incredible whoa uh, is this the pond it's the Jew pond it's the Jew pond oh who wants to go swimming Oh. Congratulations, you have made it to the Dew Pond in the highest point on the mountain. Yeah. It says the Dew Pond was excavated in the latter half of the 19th century and intended to take advantage of the frequent cloud that encircled the summit of Green Mountain to provide an emergency source of water supply. The actual highest point of the peak at 2,817 feet is marked by an old rustling anchor chain. Naval miscreants were supposed to have been forced to wield this chain aloft as punishment, but having the secondary belief that changing the electricity in the clouds might induce rain. Nowadays, the only regular punishment occurring here is the annual Dew Pond Run, a tortuous seven mile ascent from the Turtle Ponds in Georgetown, finished at the Dew Pond itself. This location is also one of the most popular island letterbox walks undertaken by visitors to Ascension. You're so close, Karen. I'm so close. Nearly on the top. Woo! You can't see anything except bamboo. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Wow. Well the done. The horse is with you. <laughs> the forest. The horse. Oh, the horse. Look. The horse with the crown. We did good. We made it. We did we make it. it. We just climbed job, 859 guys. meters. Yeah. Holy balls. Yeah. What a mission. <laughs> but what a beautiful place. What a true place. An experience, phew. Beautiful scenery and amazing weather. Wow, what an incredible place. Thank you, Ascension. Love the Dallas crew. And we walked from Georgetown. Yikes. <laughs> nice. Perfect. Yeah. Good walk. There's a lot of bananas growing in these trees around here. And I don't think anybody would mind if we grabbed them. Because the tree can only give one set of bananas anyways, and then it... Tree. Just ninja beast it, Lisa. Yeah. Yeah. My... Wait, wait, wait! Ah! <laughs> we did it! You're a job for you! Nice super! <laughs> it's so cool. Yeah, it's machete. I also forgot my mouth. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, we found you. Look what we got. Oh, great. <laughs> I can't believe you just Oh, fucking hell, even I'm having some bananas. <laughs> what happened? Oh, it's so nice. We just. Uh, stop the car and now we get a ride downhill 
Sweet. which is awesome. So we don't have to carry our banana stock there. Thanks, buddy. You're welcome. Cheers. You're have welcome. a good day. Sorry, take no good worries. Time. You saved us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah thank you. Right. Ciao. Thank you so much. Bye, Bye, man. See you later. Thank you. No worries. Oh yes. Oh man. Oh. Ugh. oh, can't we stay here? Yeah, forever. An ideal way to reward yourself after a long day hike. Cheers. <laughs> that was like a like a commercial. Perfect. Savannah Drive. What's wrong, baby? So excited. <laughs> Couldn't ask for a better dinner right now. Yeah. I'm very happy to be here with all you guys. You're a very nice bunch of people. And although sometimes it can be really rough today, like when we were walking, I had a headache, I had limp leg. <laughs> I feel like everybody always put in their best and with a smile, and I really appreciate that. Oh, well oh, said. We love you, Karen. Yes. Thank you for now. We feast. Ah, oh, oppa. <laughs> Just another day painting whale sharks. It's a pretty cool fucking project to, to wake up with, to be honest. I like it. What's awesome. it like? With the day spent working on the boat, we jumped at the opportunity to make some new friends. Who also happened to be throwing a little party. What's the plan, guys? What are we off to? Carol, Carol, they're just taking us somewhere. So this is Carol. We ran into her a few days ago, and we hit it off right away. She's from the U.S., but has lived on Ascension Island for several years, working as the on-call nurse. The plan is we're gonna go to a beach hut. Got a guy come play some music. Oh, so it's a Friday night Ascension Island party. Yeah, local style. So what's the rest of y'all's plan for the night? Sweet. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> oh, oh, look at all these provisions. Whoa. Hey, we Whoa. came prepared, man. Holy. Right. We got beer. We got wine. Water, we got hey, Brady. Check out the pussy wagon, right, huh? That's, that, that van is pretty really sweet, man. You pick up some chicks in that van. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> okay, we arrived at some rocky, housey hut. Let's go check it out. Hey, hey. hey guys, look at this place, huh? <laughs> All right, Elizabeth, so we found our little party spot for the evening. The ocean's there, the beer's there, and all my crew and family are here. Anyway, Here's go. Excited. This is like a little taste of America. We got pepperoni pizzas. We've got hot wings. We've got shrimp salad. We've got a very creamy cut sauce. Obviously, I'm guessing ranch. Pretty American ranch. Oh, no, he's ranch right here. Ken's ranch. Oh, Carol. I tried. They didn't have any blue cheese. I tried. <laughs> Oh. Wow. Jello 2.0 is going to have a pizza oven on it. <laughs> we got the boom blaster. It never ceases to amaze me how incredibly inviting and friendly strangers are to us. We just met Carol and her friends, and here we were having a party thrown for us. Not because of anything special, just simply because we were new to the island and they wanted us to feel welcome in their home. Pizza, chicken nuggets, ranch dressing, Corona, and good laughs. It's the small things that can make you feel home. This is exactly what traveling is about. Eating locals over some drinks. We met some amazing people. 
and we've danced, we've drank, and you know what, we've celebrated life. Um, Del style. Up next, we celebrate the 4th of July. You're like you're somewhere exotic right now, don't you? Go on a fishing competition and get the inside scoop of the island. They took off us something different than there was and we were good at it. Okay, go! I'm in the wrong throat. The wrong throat. <laughs> Like it? I like it a lot. What a healthy donkey population. Yeah. That's the girl gang and that's the male gang. Really? Yeah. Okay. These are girlies. They are male. Because they have penises. Yep, it's usually how it works. How do you spell it? Ah, how do you spell it? Is it patties or paddies? Well, See, no one knows that Brian's actually a massive yeah, dickhead. No like one knows. Sanitary Elizabeth, I don't know what you're talking about. Go on, get in there, mate. Shake it dry. Elizabeth, tell us, Tyrus. As we tell us, crew. Should have done the plug for your blog in there. www.lrights.com. That's E A R L E W R I T E S. Nice.